Good morning, guys, on Frequented World. Today's episode, we've got a GoPro and a rake. Yeah, there she is, the old heavy duty. We're gonna go back over to the bottle dump and see what we can get. It has been snowy, it has been cold, snowed for three days, minus 18 last night. Uh, but the sun came up, it started to warm up. The ground is actually frozen, but we'll see what we can do. So after the last video, I kind of have a better idea of what era these bottles come from and which ones are worth maybe more than others. It's hard to say what they're worth because if you look on eBay, for example, a bottle might go for 20 bucks, but then they want another $20 for shipping. So what is the value of that bottle? I didn't include the shipping costs last time when I, when I put the prices in the last video. So I don't think I'll do that again. And really, I don't know why <laughs> I'm collecting these because I have no intention of selling them, so what am I going to do with them? I guess I'll have to find a nice shelf to put them on, or give some to Stan, I don't know, but uh, we'll see what we can find. So as you guys can see, there's still snow here in the bush, and all the water is frozen. It's going to take a couple more days to get rid of that. But we should be able to get the rake in the ground here and get some stuff out. Not having a lot of luck today. A lot of broken glass, and the ones that I do find in one piece are kind of plain Janes. This one actually says what it is on the bottom. It's really hard to read, but it says Canada Vinegars Limited. So there was a vinegar in there. Yeah. Tons of broken stuff today. Everywhere I look, all the pieces are broken. What is this? It's like a jar inside a jar. I've never seen that before. Apparently, yes, it can be. The one on the right here was inside the one on the left. Now, I've never seen a top like the one on the right here. It's not a screw thread. It It, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? It's kind of got like a drop-down lock-in top to it. It has the number 29 on the bottom. So is that the year, 1929? So you would drop in the lid, would come in here, and then you would twist it over and it would stop right there. So it's not a regular twist lid. Uh, here's another one that would have been real nice and fancy. Of course, it's broken. It's got some leaves and, I don't know, grapes or something. So is that a wine bottle? I don't know. Oh, here's one intact. Sloan's Linment. Made in Canada. Hey, there's one we can look up. That's cool. Put that off to the side. That one's sealed but full. <laughs> you <laughs> so look at this old buggy we saw part of this sticking out of the ground in another video but i think i know what it is that's a baby carriage i'm pretty sure because there's the footrest for the it's only got the front wheels on it the back wheels would have been on there and you know the baby went in here right so here's some like plastic whatever Material, I think that's what that was. An old, old school baby carriage. Oh, that's too bad. Nice blue one there. Yeah, that would have been a cool one too. Here's a nice one, 24 ounce. 
And look at it, it's got like the 50s, you know, it reminds me of a, a Chev from the 50s or something, like the spoilers, look at that fancy, you know, is that a 50s jar? I'm going to say, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's cool, it's complete, that's a good find. This one here screams old as well. It's very plain, but look at the nice top. It's not a screw top, and it's got a single seam. If you can see that seam right there, it's like the, the glass was made in two halves and put together. It almost looks like, you know, like a flower vase or something. I know it's not. It's a jar for something, but it's not. it doesn't have a screw top on it, so how old is that? Research time. So here's a couple more like the one I just found, but these are broken, and so I think I'm going to take that one home. There goes a fox right there, guys. I think she's got a den here somewhere close. She just did a big circle around us here. And she doesn't seem too scared of me, so I think she's got a den. Yeah, beautiful looking fox. So she's done a couple laps around me here. So I think she's got a den with young ones in it somewhere close. And I'm probably disturbing her. So we'll finish up here and move on. Lots of old ketchup bottles here in this dump. I don't think they're worth a whole lot. Pretty common, but yeah, there's probably a dozen of them in here. And here's a piece of melted glass. I don't know if there was a fire and the, I don't know weird Sunbright 16 ounces is that a cleaning detergent or something I don't know what do we have here that's a strange looking bottle is it intact oh 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 <laughs> it was <laughs> It is! What is that? I have never seen a bottle like that. Still got the lid on it? That's cool! Awesome! Look at this, guys. I don't know what was in this jar, but I know how old it is. 1933. <laughs> Look at that. That's an old one. And with the lid being on it, whatever was in it, there might still be uh, some smell. No, I'm not going to open that and smell it. <laughs> we'll try to find it online. That's awesome. And right beside the 1933, look at this little guy. Now this one's kind of got, it's got a lid that's got a hole in it. And it's got some white stuff in there. I don't know what that would be. There's no markings, there's nothing on the jar. And on the bottom, it says 6A, no date or anything like that. So I don't know what that is, but I think that might be worth taking out. I don't know. Yeah, I found another five or six of these today. I don't know, olive oil or something. They're pretty plain, so I don't think uh, I'll bother with any of those. But they're, I think they're older. Big pile of spring here, so either a mattress or a car seat. I don't know. Probably old bed springs. Oh, here's a flashlight. I found a couple of these the first time we were out. The old 1940s, 1950s metal tube flashlight. Oh, that's a different one. I haven't seen any other ones like that exactly here. What it was, no idea. Taking it home? Nope. <laughs> well, another fancy one that's broken. Lots of little glass ribs on that guy. Too bad. Some old paint cans here. I flipped it over. There's still paint in there. <laughs> you can bet that's lead-based. Alright, let's move the old log out of the way here. Let's see if there's anything. Yep. <laughs> I can see two jars right here. Oh, it's broken. Of course. Oh, well, there's more than two right there. Yeah. 
boring, but intact. And then another one, boring. Hey, there's a cup. There's a glass, a drinking glass. Look at that, and it's complete. What? Not even a chip. Why would they throw that out? Yeah, look at that. That's freaking awesome. I'm taking that. Not a scratch on it. The lip, not a chip, nothing. That's got to be, that's old. We're in the old section here. See if we can find one of those on eBay. On the bottom of this glass, there's a little crown with, I think it's a four inside of it. Or an H. But maybe we can figure out what year this is or what set it came from. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Question for you guys. Would it be gross to clean that glass and drink out of it? Use it as a drinking glass? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below because this guy's thinking about it. <laughs> That's history. Oh, I almost had a nice bowl to go with that glass. Look at that. I thought it was complete. The side that's broken was stuck in the ground. Good try, though. Oh, there's another nice one. Look at that. Score. I don't know what it was, but there is writing on the bottom that says Pfeiffer's. P-F-E-I-F-F-E-R apostrophe S. So, alcohol, but there's some real nice design on that bottle. And that's going in the good pile. Look at this! This bottle has finger grips in the side of it. <laughs> Was this uh, alcohol of some kind and that made it easy to hang on to? Um, I, I've never seen that. That's a shame it's broken. That's cool. <laughs> and there is the old stoneware teapot. And look at the side of it. It's got gold leaf on it. That is actual gold leaf on the side of this teapot. <laughs> Both sides, actually. And what kind of trip would it be to the 1930s dump site without getting a lady's shoe or part of one? Ha! The old salt or pepper shaker. Intact. Javax. I found lots of those before in lots of different dump sites. So, But it's cool. It's not broken. So, at first, this little brown one doesn't seem that interesting. But the brown ones are thicker. They're heavier. I think they're older. And on the bottom is a clue. Adolphs. A-D-O-L-P-H apostrophe S. And then 20, is that a year? 720? That, we might be able to find out what it was. Well, I think that's it, guys. I've been here a couple hours. Uh, the finds are getting fewer and further between the good ones. So for now, that's it. I'm going to take a few of these home, clean them up, and show you guys what they look like cleaned up. I really can't tell you guys how pristine this glass is. Not a scratch, not a chip. Blows my mind. I think the coolest find definitely is this one here with the 1933 on it. Anything you can date, um, I just it blows my mind. Look at that, guys. There is what I'm keeping today. So a real successful day in the bottle dump. I really like the designs on the one on the end over here. And then this one right here in the middle. Some really cool retro design in that glass. We know the date of the one on the end, 1933. And this drinking glass, I don't know. It intrigues me. That's history. So that's it today, guys, from Unfrequented World. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. Lots more adventure to come.